We went from a very scrappy startup deployment in a data center to something where we had an opportunity to completely redo everything. We started from scratch and we had a lot of lofty goals in mind and we achieved every one of them with AWS. Create a Market is a place where people come to buy and sell mouse-made design assets. Things like WordPress themes and graphics, plugins for Photoshop. Creative Market has roughly 3 million users right now. We have about 20,000 shop owners. In 2014, we were acquired by Autodesk and moved here into their offices in San Francisco. Something that I love about Creative Market is people are making lives off of our marketplace platform that we offer, not just measly lives, but some people are doing really, really well. We've seen some tremendous growth in some of the shop owners, a few people that actually become millionaires on the site. Our IT environment, prior to moving to AWS, we were deployed in a traditional data center, we were in software. Some of the biggest challenges we were facing with our infrastructure it was really the inflexibility to do pretty much everything. It was the typical story of things taking several weeks to get done that we can now get done in minutes. To try to replicate what we have in AWS now in a traditional environment would require, I can't even imagine how many more man hours, people racking servers, people running Cat 5e, you know, and that's something that we don't have to worry about. Put simply, we run everything we can in AWS. We run our production, staging, and development environments. And we also run our analytics databases on Redshift. And some of the biggest things that we can do now would be like auto-scaling, not even an option prior to moving to AWS. We needed to have shared file storage between all of our instances that we had in production, all of our application servers. We originally stood up a Gluster cluster, and it immediately started to show some of the issues that eventually became real problems for us, mainly around automating things. If we needed to automate failover, if we needed to, say, add capacity on the fly or anything like that, we only really had one engineer who understood it well enough to work on it at any given time. So if he was out or on vacation and something went wrong, it was like, what do you do? It was simply a nightmare for me to build out, operate, and scale over time. So we knew we needed to replace it with something much better. When we moved to EFS, all those problems went away. When we first heard about EFS, we could not wait to get our hands on it, given its simplicity of setup and operation. I mean, you don't even have to tell it how much storage you need. You just use the storage, you get billed for it, and delete the files, and it's taken care of. One of the things we do heavily is we resize images on the fly. Uh, we store all of the original size images within EFS, and when someone requests it, we basically resize it on the fly, send it to them, that's wrapped in a CDN so that the next time it's accessed, it just gets pulled from the CDN. Whenever we push a new version of the website, a new version of the application, it goes out to EFS, and then that gets read across and copied to all of our application nodes. And we're actually paying 95% less for the same storage, about enough to hire another engineer every year. With EFS, file storage has gone from one of our biggest pains to one of our smallest. We no longer lose sleep worrying about our storage infrastructure going down, and all of that time can be spent working on projects that are much more valuable to the business. Being on AWS has made my job quite a bit easier because all my team and my engineers can stay focused on things that bring value to the business. Now that the developers can have their own individual development environments that more truly mirror production and staging, they're able to be more confident that the product that they're developing against will deploy successfully when it comes time to go to production. We're growing very quickly, and people are storing a lot of products on our platform. We want to be able to support very large product files for our users in the future into the tens of terabytes if need be. It's pretty easy to say that I wouldn't have the engineering team I have right now if we weren't on AWS. A lot of engineers just won't work on these types of infrastructure problems unless they're on AWS. It's just there's too much value there. We're basically never looking back. You know, we're very proud to be on AWS.